<laughs> what it do, guys? And welcome back to another video. Now, today's video, we're going to be looking at Grendel's brand new augment. We'll pop up on the screen there in Kobe the Five Fates. This is called uh, Gastro, um, which is going to be around his fourth ability. So we're going to be doing a build for Steel Path centered purely around this. All right. So without further ado, let's just go and jump straight into it. Remember, timestamps are all beneath. So feel free to go and jump to whatever you need to go and know. Starting things off with his abilities, and we'll go and talk about his passive just real quick. But. As I want to go talk about his passive, just remember this. Every enemy consumed is 250 bonus armor. We'll, re we'll reiterate that again in a second. There's nothing else to do with his passive. It, everything's set around his first ability. So let's talk about his first. So yeah, his first ability is called Feast. And basically the way that this ability works is in order for Grendel to basically get anything from his kit, um, he needs to go ahead and Feast. Except from subsumables where he doesn't actually need to Feast. So the way that this works is if I go and press one right now, you can see what happens there. He basically just opens up his stomach and tries to, uh, I can't really show you what it looks like, but he opens up his stomach and tries to vacuum enemies in. So if I go and do it like this, see how I pull one enemy in. Now, if I want to go and get more than one enemy, I can do that. And there you go. Now we've got multiple enemies inside. So a few things to go pay attention to is number one, as they are inside, it looks like I'm being damaged. I'm not. I'm just dealing damage to them. Um, as they're inside me, they're going to be taking percentile damage over time. I think it's like 2%. So uh, they will slowly die. All right. They're kind of corroding with toxin acidic inside our stomach. Now, the other thing is, and we'll go ahead and zoom in on the bottom right there, is the passive. So the passive comes in for every for every one enemy, you get 250 armor. For a maximum of five enemies, for 1,250 armor, trying to help his survivability. Okay, so remember that. Now, on top of that, that's also going to be important because in order for Grendel's going to use any of his abilities, his abilities, um, so in this case, on this build two and four, but we'll get to in a moment, um, he's going to need enemies inside of him, okay? Now, as they're about to go and die, you can also go and hold one basically just like regurgitate them almost in the way out of them it's not actually a regurgitate because he does have an ability called regurgitate but he basically just spews them out of him they take toxin damage and they also go and take toxin proc all right that's basically what's going to happen to them so as you can see there's their uh, health bar right now and there's their health bar earlier so they would have slowly died over time as you stored them inside your gut so essentially you can just kill them just kill them kill them passively right just kill them passively um I don't think there's anything else that's going to really say about his one except from and a bit of a note uh, you can't use it on eximus units okay so if, it, if an enemy has overguard above their hp you can't feast on that enemy you're gonna have to remove the overguard first by dealing damage to the enemy and then when the when the bar has gone of overguards then you can go and feast on them all right that's basically about it that's how his feast works so again remember core um structure here is in order for you to do really anything with his kit you are going to need this your passive then increases that and then the other abilities can also happen because of this so this is like the prefix before the suffixes anyways so let's move on to his second ability his second ability is called nourish and nourish does quite a lot of different things in fact if you've been playing warframe for a while now um especially if you're not a newer player even if you are a newer player you might go and hear this word called nourish it's in quite a lot of builds due to how strong it is for multiple different reasons um so let's go ahead and break this down really quickly so summon some enemies we're gonna go over here we're gonna go ahead and get one of these enemies now the first things first when i go ahead and press two here i'm going to go ahead and deal damage to the enemy inside me so as you can go and see there 256,000. so it's going to take i believe it's about 20 percent of their overall just hp out i think that might scale off strength i'm not 100 sure but either way they're gonna they're gonna take a big chunk of damage now what's gonna happen is i'm gonna end up getting a nourish buff and nourish works in a few different ways now to grendel himself when you go ahead and cast nourish you will heal okay so if you're looking to go ahead and just get some healing back you can just go and press two and it will heal you and it gives you a good amount of health return as well i think it's like up to a thousand health it's an insane amount of health return but here's the other things that it does and this also applies to allies okay the first thing that it does it provides a multiplier increase to all incoming energy sources so that could be large energy pads like this so when I put that down and I have Nourish, um, I can get a Multiplier. So it would give me way more than what it normally gives me. Um, it could be Energy Orbs. I could get way more than what it normally gives me so long as Nourish is active. Um, this also goes with like other Warframe abilities as well. So a very popular one of this is like Styanax. Styanax is Rally. Uh, I forgot what it's called, that rally point, his third ability, basically gives it energy over time. Well, if you put Nourish with the energy over time, this can also be applied to other allies. 
it, it works really well and it gives this huge amount of energy over time. So Nourish is fantastic for energy purposes, especially energy purposes on the move. Remember that if you're ever having a problem with bills, you're like, oh, how do I fix my energy side of things? Nourish is normally a good fix. <laughs> okay. Now, the second thing that Nourish does here is that it also applies offensively viral damage towards your weapons now for grendel it's going to be 75 percent that does scale off strength so you get 75 percent, and again that's going to go towards your allies so as soon as you cast nourish bum your allies are also going to get get that as well as long as they're within range of you so this viral damage is really really good now the viral proc the chance comes off of your weapons so depending on what your status chance is you can also just basically get free free viral status chance by basically casting an ability you don't have to put it on your weapon this is huge like that is so so good for so many different reasons so yes that's the second thing that it does and then finally the third thing that it does is that whenever i go ahead and take damage in this case or again even your allies you're going to end up basically reflecting and exploding um viral procs onto enemies so i'm going to just show you what this looks like really quickly i'm going to go and scale these guys down because i don't want to die real fast because uh, i'm not really looking to fight back oh, i don't know why i just did that anyways we're going to put them to level 20 and then here's what i'm going to go and do i'm going to go and get one of them sure we'll take two that's fine and then what i'm going to go and do is i'm just going to show you what it looks like when they shoot me normally so they just shoot me normally see that it's all fine everything's fine remember that okay now i'm gonna apply that now if they shoot me 10 stacks of viral on them which is absolutely insane look at that they're kind of just killing themselves right now <laughs> absolutely insane now don't expect that to be like steel path worthy levels of insane where you're going to be wiping every enemy that you come across because of viral kind of explosion around you no but the one thing that i do want to go and put into perspective here is that on grendel yes you do go and get those 10 stacks of viral but it's very key and very important that i tell you guys right now if you take the subsumed version of this if you go towards the helmet if you subsume grendel and you take nourish onto other frames he gets diminishing returns on everything he does not give you 10 stacks of viral went on on explosive when an enemy hits you he does not give you 75 percent of uh, i'll put all of the numbers up here he doesn't give you 75 percent uh weapon damage offensiveness and he also doesn't give you the same amount of energy multiplier everything gets decreased because viral is just um nourish is just that's good of an ability like seriously so many bills can use nourish and you can't blame the players for taking an ability that is just that powerful not only offensively defensively and utility and it's recastable, so you can just keep applying it. Now, Grendel himself needs to have an enemy in him in order to go and cast the ability. No other Warframe needs to have enemies in them in order to go and cast it. It's crazy. This could be subject to change, but anyways, that is Nourish. Now, the third thing on, on this build here that we're going to be doing is Grendel's third ability is called Pulverize, and it's basically where he like, puts himself into a ball and like, rolls towards enemies. Fun, fun, fun. No, not really. Um, <laughs> I don't really care for the ability, so we're taking that straight out of this kit. What we do want to go and put in is Rhino's Raw. Okay, this is going to be our subsumed option. The reason for this is because Rhino's Raw is going to do two things essentially for us. Number one, it's just going to go ahead and um, add faction damage bonus to all weapons and to his abilities, which is important because we're going to be doing dot. Now, if you're doing dot, any kind of form of dot, slash, toxin, gas, electric, whatever it is, Rhino's Raw works really, really well with them because the second thing that Rhino's Raw does is that whenever it comes to this faction, it basically like applies itself twice within the formula. Basically, you can end up getting a lot of damage when it comes to status related builds that's all you need to go and know it's just the easiest way for me to go and break it down for you okay maybe i can put a formula up on the screen or something else like that and you can see what it looks like and you're like okay that makes no sense but that's just how it's coded all right so this is really important because now we're going to go in towards the next ability which is regurgitate now regurgitate um is going to do toxin damage so do remember that um and the way that regurgitate is going to go ahead and work is let's go and just pause these guys and bump them up in level right now because that's going to be important is regurgitate let's take this when i aim it towards these guys over here now i have a full build on me so keep in mind this is what it's going to roughly look like in fact i think you're going to see the augment as well which is not great <laughs> i'm trying to show you this without the augment is when you spit towards you're going to end up using your fourth ability it's going to spit the enemy out it's going to deal toxin damage and toxin proc the enemies are going to get slowed by about 80 percent and depending on your strength the enemy's armor is also going to get stripped or 
I do this. Or you can also go ahead and add the augment. Which now looks like that. Which is kind of crazy. As you can see. And I'm not really, I've not really built anything up. That was just a one-time cast. Off we go. Lovely jubbly. So there are a few other things that we will go and talk about here. Because I also took damage. I'm going to explain all of that within the build and how that works. But yes, regurgitate is basically spitting an enemy out from your stomach. So if you have five enemies in you, you've got... Imagine it's like ammo. You've got like five bullets to go ahead and shoot out. All right? Um, so that's going to be the main thing that we're doing. All right? We're going to be using his fourth. So we're going to be pulling enemies in on his first. We'll make sure our nourish buff is up at all times. We'll make sure our raw buff is up at all times. And then we're going to be using his fourth to go and shoot those enemies out. Okay? So let's go ahead and just jump straight into... Uh, oh, let's go and talk about his augment real quick. Um, so his augment, again, we'll go and put it on the screen here. The way that this basically works is... is um, actually, I'll just go and show you instead. So I don't know why I'm saying I'll put it on the screen. Regurgitate normally just shoots them out. But I want to go and show you this. If I jump up, if I shoot him at the ground, you see how he bounces? Right. <laughs> that is what gastro is doing okay so gastro now makes them bounce but every bounce that they do they're going to end up having 75 percent damage fall off so essentially when you get towards the third bounce it's doing less than it would have done on the first bounce so it's like diminishing returns like kind of over time all right but what they will go ahead and do is they will also leave a, a gas clouds uh in their wake so if you end up kind of spitting one out like this you see how it's just left like this gas bump there might be a little bit harder to see. Also depends on what your energy colors are. But you can kind of see the gas there. So you've got these like little gas clouds. So any enemy that's inside this area as well will also take that damage, all right? And that's basically how that works. So let's go ahead and just get into the builds. And thankfully, we don't have to spend too, too long on the build because it is very simplistic. Um, my goal here was going to give you a nice, easy build to understand, go play and go mess about with. So let's go ahead and cover a few things, shall we? ba -boom. Gastro builds. Right, let's go and talk about some stuff. First things first, and what we do want to go ahead and do is we're going to take it from two different values. Number one is, do you want more range to clear more of the tile set and make your gas spread further, or do you want more damage to go to make your ability and your build scale further? So this is going to be entirely up to you. There's no right, there's no wrong. It just depends, and it also depends on tile sets. See, some tile sets are going to be narrow and small. Other tile sets are going to be wide and big, and then having lower range on those big tile sets doesn't feel that great, all right? So for me, I go ahead and bump up range, all right? My entire goal is to go ahead and not only reach enemies a bit further away to go and feast them, so I've got the quality of life there. Not only is the explosion on this as well, the explosion radius um, is the second to bottom stat. Let me move my camera over here. The explosion radius on this as well is also really good for those viral procs because I'm going to show you a little trick here in a second. Um, so that's also really good. But then also the AOE of this as well, the radius on top of that uh, with the gastro on top of it as well is just going to help. All right. So ra radius and, and uh, range is going to be like my go-to. It's up to you what you want to go and take, but I would advise that. All right. From there onwards, yes, we're going to go towards the strength. So let's go and have a little look towards this. We've got the gastro augment in there. I, obviously, I didn't need to explain that. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop uh, overextended in. Now, this is going to lose us 60% ability strength. However, we're going to run the arcane molt augment in. And when this stacks up 250 times, it gives us 60 ability strength. Basically, I've just got that 90% ability strength at no cost. Imagine it like that because I'm kind of I'm counter... Um, counterbalancing I don't know what the word is i'm counteracting its deficit here all right so uh, it's minus 60 plus 60 we're good it's just a plus 90 for ability range now excellent gastro off we go uh, and then we just want just damage all right so some damage here some damage there scale those up now i do also have arc on intensify and arc on intensify is definitely interesting because it makes sense with what i'm doing with this build so let me explain something real quick because this also works with combat discipline so arc on intensify basically gives you 30 percent ability ability strength but when you restore your health with an ability a health ability rest restoration so it can't be like a heal over time i don't think it is i think you can actually just go to the warframe wikipedia and it'll tell you all of the abilities that this actually works on so if you're ever curious about what this mod works on warframe wikipedia will cover it for you but anyways because grendel is going to be restoring just like in one you know flat kind of oh uh, <laughs> that's the noise he makes uh, um you're going to end up basically getting 60 percent ability strength so you get an extra 30 for 10 seconds it's very easy to proc though because i'm going to be running something called combat discipline so let me show you two things about combat discipline about why it's good number one i'm going to intensify number two is going to be this now do you guys remember what i said about his second ability let's go and get all these guys over there because what's going to happen is hopefully i oh, please don't one shot all of these 
damn it. What's going to happen is, as you can see, I've took damage. And because I've taken damage, let me not group them up. Let me try and see if I can do this. Oh, please don't die. You see how they've all got the viral procs on them now? Yeah, because you see, combat discipline as a mod means that whenever I kill an enemy, I can also go ahead and apply the viral stacks from the so from the from the nourish because I'm technically taking damage. So you can actually use that to your advantage, which is actually a very, very cool trick here with Grendel. So keep your nourish applied as often as possible. Go kill an enemy, which with this is easy because I've got loads of AoE and loads of strength, as you can clearly see there. I've raws only, but helping that even more. This then procs off of it, which then damages me, which then just makes me explode and deal loads of viral procs to everything around me. Which again, Viral's only going to go ahead and help dot builds. So it just synergizes in tangent. Hence why you see why I've recommended Raw. Now, I will also go and say you can go ahead and run something like Breach Surge. There's nothing wrong with you running Breach Surge. It's totally fine too. I just feel like when you run Gastro, Breach Surge doesn't feel as nice. When you don't run Gastro with Regurgitate, I think Breach Surge is a bit nicer. Just my two cents on top of it. It's entirely up to you. I've run both of the builds. I've now defaulted to this one. Raw just gives us that... Um, way to switch off and just shoot so feast shoot feast shoot feast shoot buff 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 get the idea so we don't have to work on rotations as much which is really really nice um, from now onwards as well, Prime Shell Footed is just a way for us to go ahead and look after ourselves. It's completely optional. I know a lot of people don't like it because it's a 400 day login mod. I get that, but it's quality of life. If you've got it, why not use it? Um, yeah, so just take it. I don't know what I was going to say. If there was a status prevention here, I would go ahead and use the status prevention, but that's not the case. An adaptation is just trying to help me a little bit in terms of survival. Now, I won't lie to you though. This is probably what's going to be my survival, and it's because of the 40% of energy uh, on abilities is converted to shields. Um, I like that. It's I, Even if I get one shield, just one shield, it's enough to go and give me shield gain, which will help me. So if I'm in a bad spot and I'm, I'm looking low and, oh god, they've removed my shields and now they're hurting me, if you rely on just health and armor and steel path, unfortunately, you're going to end up dying. Even if you go health, armor, and adaptation, at some point, it's going to fall off. Shield gating, however, again, even if I can just get one shield, it's enough to go ahead and keep me alive because it will basically go ahead and absorb all of the incoming damage, deplete your shield fully, give you a time of vulnerability that scales on how much shield that you have, yada, yada, yada. And as you could imagine, Gretel doesn't have a tremendous amount of shield. So you could do, if you did want to, you could consider something like catalyzing shields with him. Since he's naturally got low shields anyways, this automatically works and it would actually kind of work out better for him. But again, it's it's here and there. It's here and there. Anyways, this is basically what I've got. But I won't lie to you. Yes, at some point, if I'm not paying attention to my shields, I can end up dying at some point. Most of the time, though, I'm fine. Okay? I've got my healing. I've got my return. I've got all of that good stuff. So lovely jubbly. All right? So that's kind of the build. Um, there's not really much else to go and say about the build, to be 100% honest with you. Um, as for the Archon Shards, <laughs> I went a couple of Archon sh a couple of videos, a couple of builds where I didn't talk about them. So let's talk about them real quick. Um, for the most point, I've got casting speed and I've got, ca um, I've got casting speeds. I was about to say two casting speeds. I've got one casting speeds. Uh, he doesn't take a lot of animation time. He does get locked in place with Norwich though, which is kind of annoying. And he will get kind of locked in place there with Roar as well. So casting speed, a Tal Forged Amber for casting speed would actually be pretty good. All right, do consider that. The other thing is a little bit of energy on spawn because as soon as I start off the mission, no matter what mission I'm doing, so long as I can feast one enemy and I can then Norwich, I should then be fine, okay? Feast and nourish. Now, I either kill with my weapons or I'll slowly go ahead and get into the build and I'll try and kill with my build. It just depends whether or not enemies are going to go ahead and drop energy orbs. Now, you can go ahead and help yourself here by having companions. For example, um, I use this Dyrega companion, but things like duplex bonds here, you actually read the bottom part of that. Their kills have a 50% chance of dropping energy orbs. And again, do remember what Grendel is doing there towards those energy orbs with nourish. He's actually amplifying it. So something like this can go ahead and help you. All right. You're just basically getting yourself more and more companions which is fantastic they're all primer in as well for me they're doing yeah they're, they're doing viral heat ideally i don't really need that because i am the viral machine right now so you could go ahead and change those to something different if you wanted to maybe uh, honestly just not actually much you can go change it to now that i think about it um but yeah so basically i can go and take that i can go and pair that with him and then lovely jubbly i'm now getting a lot of return uh nourish 
is a energy multiplier. Sorry, I know my camera's in the way. It's just end part here. It says energy multiplier. And then it says 269 right there. So 2.6 line, which is a huge amount of return. 269% return, which is fantastic. All right. So um, that's going to allow me to go and get into missions. Off I go. Lovely jubbly without me having to worry about things. And then from there onwards, it's entirely up to you. Again, I'll go and put some other stuff here on the screen that you can go ahead and use. Um, crimsons for ability strength. Crimsons for ability duration, which works really well on just keeping your buffs up. Um, and emeralds for like toxin damage also work really well but again on this build kind of gas is more of a go-to than it is toxin but you can mix and dabble in both all right so let's go ahead and stop yapping let's go put some gameplay up on the screen right here yeah overall i'm not gonna lie to you so i just go and use a build similar to this in the past with breach surge and uh, we could you could if the breach surge proc would land on another enemy's head so you get a headshot multiplier you could do like 180 odd million right which is an insane amount of damage so you can go ahead and get some really big damage hits and i've got clips of me hitting this so there's evidence behind that all right but regardless outside of it although that build was kind of fun this build is just going to be better in terms of like zone denial uh pushing control and even just like clearing anything up behind you or even anything in front of you corridors right now just get absolutely destroyed by this build it's just it's more enjoyable yeah it's one thing that it's strong and uh you know we're stripping enemy and enemy's armor and we're dealing damage over time and whatnot it's one thing that's strong but it's another thing that's just generally kind of fun to go and just watch these enemies flail around bounce around and just take all of this damage and absolutely melt um try a build like this go into steel path have a little mess about with yourself. Like I said, you can change the value, strength, range. It's entirely up to you. But overall, it's not much else going to say. It does very good against single target as well, especially if you land direct damage onto them. Acolytes go ahead and still go ahead and get taken down a little bit, although they do have a bit of a dot cap on them. It's more like the initial hit. But uh, for the most part, I don't know. I like it. I know Grendel doesn't have a tremendous amount of like builds going for him, but the Gastro mod is definitely a fun one and it's definitely a strong one. So that's basically about it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be bringing you guys right back here. Um, today's video is going to be a lot shorter and sweeter and hopefully a bit more to the point. So if you like videos like this and you feel like I've done a good job explaining what's going on, or even if you have any questions, let me know inside the comment section. But if you do think that it is a good video, please go and like, share the video with a friend. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But as always, guys, I'll be catching you guys again in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.